talking to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a uh, love reading for Pisces and for those who have Pisces placements as per Alexander Tarot. Um, check your chart for your placements. As always, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind, energy is fluid, so the rules may be reversed. As per Alexander Tarot, you may flip the messages as needed when, if necessary, but never force it. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force the reading, guys, okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, go to um, alexandertarot.com to see what the options are. Feel free to shoot me an email at bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. That's bookalexandertarot at gmail.com, all right? So you're going to hear me say um, Alexander Tarot throughout this reading. It is a watermark on my audio because of these thieves that still audio from and use it as their own for tarot, fake tarot reading channels, okay? I was a victim of that. I don't want to be a victim of that again. I'm desperate not to let that happen again. So anyway, um, let's get into it. Also, keep in mind that anytime you press play is the time for you to receive the messages, if I haven't said that already. All right, so show me the messages, please, for Pisces in love. Show me Pisces' current situation in love. What is Pisces? need to see as well as in the world. What does Pisces need to see? I want to make sure that these cards are flipped around. And... Okay, next up. Show me the messages. Okay. What's the current situation in love? Show me the current situation in love. Okay. Okay. Show me why the sun is here. Okay. All right. All right. I feel like um, for some of you with the with the Hierophant Reverse, I'm getting energy that there was some sort of devastating um, breakdown in a connection. Okay. Somebody that was, you know, not committed to the connection. There was, um, I feel like there was just somebody that wasn't willing to conform to the connection and it, and it devastated somebody here. And they reached their breaking point with this connection with this non-committal person. Could be a Taurus, could be any sign. Um, yeah, I feel like to clarify this sun, I got the Ten of Swords telling me there was some rock bottom moment. And I also feel like though with the sun here that somebody felt really free and happy when it ended. Like I get somebody like, oh, thank God I I finally like released that. I finally was able to let that go. I feel free, okay? But don't get it twisted. It was devastating with the nine of wands and the 10 of wands here. But I feel like whatever happened in this connection, it was like the feeling of that was it. That was it for me. That was like a rock bottom moment. That was like severed ties. But before that, you know, with the again with the Hierophant reverse here, somebody was getting tired of somebody's foolish ways, non-committal ways, rebellious ways, and they were just overwhelmed in this connection. All right, I, I get somebody who was in isolating energy and just like can't sleep at night because of all the anxiety of wondering what this person was doing to disrespect or not and not honor the commitment that they believe they were in. You could be connecting with an Aquarius. I feel like there's Aquarius here. I'm also getting Gemini. It's very strong Gemini, okay? Um, and Leo, but it could be any sign. So yeah, so I just feel like it was this very free feeling when this was finally over. With the Emperor here, I'm gonna show, show me why the Emperor is here, okay? Um, I feel like for those of you who have a child or children with this person, because I feel like some of you may, and with Empress telling me that somebody's still being like a stand-up partner when it comes to parenthood, okay? That you guys are able to find solutions to problems and, you know, take things slowly and bring things into balance, balance things out in spite of the separation. <laughs> I mean, I should say the ending, right? But are you really, is it really over for you if you have a child or children with somebody? That's a direct message that's not going to, to resonate with everyone. 
okay but someone is just with the fool here they're willing to take a leap of faith just to move forward just again just being free and happy because again there's a sense of relief like thank god that's over okay you can be connected with the sagittarius i'm also getting aries energy show me more please show me more about the situation Okay, when the cards come out sideways, I do not read them. I only read uprights and reversals. Look at that. It's insane that this keeps happening. I need to figure out what these sideways cards mean. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like somebody here had a lot going on in this connection. And, it, and one of the things that they had going on was they, their involvement with the Queen of Wands reverse, all right? This is somebody else. This could be, this. I'm getting energy of, of an ex. Somebody who's very jealous of the connection. Somebody who's very selfish, very insecure. And somebody who just wanted, like, revenge on how this person treated them in their connection. Meanwhile, they were happy with you, so they thought, right? Um, why is the Page of Wands here? I feel like when the news came in connected to this Queen of Wands reverse that you may not, some of you may not even been, have known about, it was just like, or I'm actually getting this message like, thank God you can have him because I'm not going through this. You know what I'm saying? He's all yours. Like he can be your headache or she can be your headache because the cards are not gender based, right? But I feel like there's some fine energy areas, little Sagittarius or somebody may have in their chart or maybe connected to. So I feel like, when this news came in, somebody felt that way. I'm also getting like the queen of wands versus somebody that when they found out about this separation or this loss um, and this, the, the, this breakdown and this connection, that they felt like they would... They were just jealous of you you both being together and now they, they're in their head trying to figure out what to do. What's their next move? Okay, they feel like that's good news that you guys are not together. The reason why I'm getting this energy too is this person is very jealous of the relationship. So they find happiness in hearing that little bit of news because they don't know the details, but they know enough, right? They're like, oh, I think that, that like they were happy that you two weren't together. Okay, but meanwhile, with the five of cups, this was devastating at some point, right? This emotional loss with this person, this ending of the relationship, the disappointment, grieving this loss and um, all the problems connected to this relationship. Tell me the breakdown here. But I feel like this person has a child or children with definitely a one other woman or man. And it could be, it also could be, well, not other. If it's a man, obviously it's just a woman, but I'm getting a very specific scenario and I have to call it as I see it. Somebody here has a child or children with other, another woman, definitely. It could be more than one. Okay? Look at this divine partnership in reverse here. When I asked for the breakdown, I got the king of wands reverse. So I feel like your person and this person were kind of made for each other, right? They're made more for each other than you two are. This person promises a lot, but doesn't deliver. They're very dominating. They can be very disrespectful. They, these, these two, this King of Wands reverse and this Queen of Wands reverse, as per Alexander Tarot, they both have very bad tempers. I get like when they, they, there's a lot of toxicity in that connection, the way that they argue with each other, okay? And meanwhile, you're over here, Queen of Cups reverse, as per Alexander Tarot, you pulled back your emotions from this. You don't really want any parts in this because the damage, the damage has been done. The Empress reverse is here. This is someone that, you know, had you feeling insecure based on this drama between this, this ex, this somebody who have, they have a child or children with, right? They had a very passionate, toxic connection with. So, you know, this person had you feeling, you know, neglected and insecure, right? Um, Empress reverse at the camera. So you pull back your emotions and you overgave. Sometimes you're like, I overgave. I gave and I gave to this person and this person, you know, didn't even know how to, didn't even invest properly, didn't commit properly to, to maintaining our relationship. This person didn't show up for me the way they should have. And that's what caused the breakdown. This jealous, spiteful person that they kept entertaining. Okay, show me more, please. Yeah, I feel like you were in your head a lot, two of wands. Like, it got to the point where you was just like, should I stay or should I go? But I also feel like for some of you, this situation made a decision for you. Page of Swords reverses here. 
Yeah, because your person started to play mind games. I feel like your person might have pillow talked with this ex about you. There were certain things that were said um, that you wasn't aware of, but this person, this Queen of Wands reverse, might have come back to you and told you themselves. And you're like, this person is trying to play me. They, you know, and you just realize this person is just playing games with me, right? But yeah, this, this person, I feel like, um, insulted you to this Queen of Wands reverse. Just talking shit is what I'm getting. All right, and the, the magician at the bottom of the deck in reverse and at the camera, this is solidifying with the page of swords reverse that this person was playing mind games with you and I feel like it was draining, all right? Because you would question this person and they try to play like stupid, right? And you finally had enough. Three of swords is here. There was some sort of heartbreak and separation. I feel like there was betrayal here. For some of you, you found out this person was still sleeping with their ex. And for some of you, you found out from that ex, okay? Because the six of swords reverse is telling me that this person, you know, couldn't move on. They didn't move on. They can't, for some reason, they just couldn't let this person go. They always had to dip their feet in the water when it came to this person. And it's just like, I'm getting the energy of returning to trouble, going back to something that's toxic, going back and forth with you. So the, also this is telling me that the Hierophant that I pulled at, in the reverse at the beginning of this reading is showing this non-committal energy from somebody. This person is having an inability to really commit, even though they said they were committed, but their actions didn't align with that is what I'm getting. And that caused a breakdown here. Okay. You could be texting with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I'm feeling it really strong. Somebody may have that in their chart. So show me um, Pisces person's current feelings for Pisces. Okay, what's Pisces person's current feelings for Pisces? This flipped over. Ask for Alexander Terrell. This person is, they realize and they made a lot of bad choices and they broke this relationship, especially for some of you who were married to this person. They recognize with the lovers reverse that they did broke this marriage, that you don't trust them. Okay, the King of Cups Reverse is telling me they recognize they disappointed you with their deception and they broke your heart. And this person tends to like, instead of taking accountability, this person with the, with the Knight of Cups Reverse at the, at the camera is they just want to, they try to avoid conflict, like by just being quiet. Okay, and then with the, with the Five of Pentacles at the camera, this, some, this is somebody that feels like left behind and left out in the cold by you which is ironic, they're playing victim. But with, this, with the Five of Wands here, this is this is about taking action. action. Show me why the Five of Wands is here. Wow. Show me one more. Wow, your person wants to come in though. They're not right now. They feel like they don't want to argue. The feelings and the emotions are too raw. Meanwhile, you're happy, you're relieved because you've moved on from this person. Some of you, you know, made a legal arrangement if you have child to children with this person for as far as visitation and everything, and you feel free. Now this person wants to come rushing in. They want to communicate. There's going to be communication from this person, even though you took it all the way, right? You took it all the way as far as moving forward. But now with the seven of swords reversed and the ace of wands, this person is wanting to, to confess some things. They want to turn over a new leaf. They want to come in and they want your forgiveness. Okay. They want a new emotional beginning with you. So I feel like this person is having regrets because they realize they keep returning to this toxic ex that they have a hard time moving forward from. You could be connected with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. I'm getting very strong Sagittarius here. Cards came out sideways. Ask for Alexander Tarot. Show me more, please. Yeah, with the world reversed, this person like feels empty now. They're feeling it and they're like, this is not over. I need to get, um, I need to get Pisces back. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, this person is going to take action. The chariot's here, cancer energy. They're determined to get you back, all right? So show me Pisces feelings. What is Pisces feelings for this person? You're like, I don't want this person back. Some of you, I can hear that. But let's see. Okay. Show me. Wow. There's some there's a part of you that's resisting. Like you're free from this person. You know what? I don't get resistance. I get resistance from this connection. Like, um, why is this four of wands here, by the way? Okay, this is a test of your faith. This person might have already reached out to you, 
Okay, for some of you, if not, this is a predict prediction. This person is going to want to come together four of wands. This person may try to come together as some sort of family, get together, reunion, celebration, something. Something with the celebration, okay? It could be a get together, a gathering, anything. But this person is, is wanting to come and, and meet you there, right? Um, with the death reverse, this is like, this is somebody that you feel... It's the same negative cycle with this person. It's never going to change. You could be connecting with, you know, um, uh, Scorpio. But at the same time, with this um, two of, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm saying two because the high priestess is number two. Okay, that's number two as far as the card itself. But the high priestess in reverse is telling me that you're not sure if you can trust yourself if you see this person again. So some of you are. Just, what I'm getting is that there's something. There's some sort of event or some sort of family function or friends or something where you know this person is gonna be there, okay? Ask pals in a tarot and you're like, I don't know if I could trust my person around them, myself around this person. I've been doing so good. And I know this person is no good for me with the death reverse at the camera, right? Ask pals in a tarot, you're like, I know. And I've been doing so good, keeping my distance and just being, you know, away from this person, just being out of, you know, out of touch. But now I'm gonna be, around this person and I don't know if I can trust myself. So with the nine with the nine of wands here, spirit is, you know, saying, you know, this is a test of your faith. Whatever this situation is that's gonna put you two in the same room together, for some of you with the child of children, it could be something with the child of children, like some sort of event with them that you two have to meet at. Like it could be something with the school, with the church, anything. But you know you're gonna see this person that you've been avoiding as you know as much as you can outside of parenthood or again some of you you don't have any ch child with this person but either way you've been trying to avoid this person and now something's gonna bring you two under the same roof right and you know that it involves some sort of invitation again if this hasn't happened yet it is prediction with the nine of wands spirit is like you're almost there you just just be encouraged just persevere through this 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 moment that's going to happen is a test of your faith and stand your ground because make no mistake this person is going to try to come back at you they're, they're going to try to get you back they're determined to do so okay so spirit is just like just remain resilient and strong when this person tries to come back around yep six of cups this person is going to try to come back some of you this is a reunion the six of cups is a reunion card and that with the four of wands is telling me for some of you there's some sort of reunion or actual family reunion or something or school reunion for some of you you went to school with this person um, but there's, there's going to be something eventful that's going to bring you two together. Again, it could be as small as a fight party at somebody's house. Okay. But with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're to be reminded that this is somebody that's complacent. This is someone that's not willing to compromise and they just continue to promise you and not deliver. And they make these hasty, reckless decisions. Right. So show me more, please, for Pisces feelings, please. And Spirit is saying you're you're quite aware because I just got the Knight of Wands reverse. You know this person is reckless. This person comes in very cocky with this play energy and they just play around with you and do what the hell they want and you're not to be played with, right? So with the with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, as pals in the tarot, it's like just be very aware of where you are and how far you've come and how much work it's taken you to get to this point where you feel free and you do feel some sense of happiness like you saying to yourself damn i really survived all of that shit is what i'm getting okay so spirit is like be hopeful okay just be very self-aware so that's not even the vice part of the segment yet but that's just coming out i'm channeling that energy within because i'm also channeling your feelings so as palos and the tarot please show me the challenges for pisces even though we already talked about what the challenges is because you already said it yourself you feel like i don't know like you it's hard to resist this person when they're around you okay show me the challenges please Okay. The three, why is this the challenges? The three of cups reverse, the betrayal, right? Why is that the challenge? Show me why. Clarify this three of cups reverse, please. Damn, two cups of clarify cards. Okay. You're going to get clarity in some sort of situation. When this happens, there's going to, this communication is going to come in, but it's going to be like, you're going to get clarity. There's going to be some sort of breakthrough. 
all right? Because you're going to realize with the strength reverse just how <laughs> insecure this person actually is. But also what I'm getting to is that there's going to be a, a, a moment of vulnerability, right? The three of cuss reverse is telling me um, this the person, this ex, may even be at this place too. So keep that in mind, okay? This person may show up. This jealous queen of wands reverse person may pop up in this situation. And because I'm getting three as a crowd and being reminded of some sort of betrayal and everything. And with the eight of cups, the challenge is to just walk away, just abandon it. Like if you see drama, just walk away because it's not worth fighting with this person. Espels and Atara at the bottom of the deck, justice reverse. This is still somebody that doesn't hold themselves accountable. They want to come in and, and tell you that they want you back. And but you with the clarity, you're gonna see things for what it is. So see this as a breakthrough moment. When when you see this, it's just a reminder of how you don't want to be a part of it, Pisces. And that's why this is a breakthrough. And that's gonna be like, oh, this is exactly why. Okay, the strength reverse again, I'm getting coward. Like you're just looking at this person and discuss, all right? Again, somebody who's who doesn't hold themselves accountable and doesn't and didn't treat you fair, you know? And then has the audacity to think they're gonna get you back. You know, I feel like a lot of narcissism from this person. So show me advice. You could be texting with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay, Espels and a Tarot, show me advice for, or well, you are a Pisces, but you could be connecting with another Pisces. There's a lot of emotions in this situation and that's what makes it so hard, right? Show me advice. A lot of times when I ask for advice, Spirit shows me the situation first, okay? I'll ask for three. Spirit is showing me four, all right? All right, so this is Spirit showing me the situation. This is somebody that has options. There's no, there's an inability to commit, just as, again, I've indicated in the the um, Hierophant reverse in the beginning of the reading, right? And three of pentacles reverse. This person is like, they have options. They're not willing to come together. Um, they lack commitment because of the options that they have, especially with this Queen of Wands. And I said heavily, I'm feeling the energy that this is somebody that's also seeing other people, right? Definitely play energy with the King of Cups reverse. This is somebody that's manipulative and you cannot trust, very emotionally immature. This person is trying to continue to play mind games, all right? And with the Eight of, of, of Swords, there's this energy of you recognizing that you were their victim. There were times you felt stuck in a situation and you felt powerless because this person just pulled you in and you were just obsessed with this person. This person was obsessed with you and it was really toxic and it was really very hard to get away from this person. But the thing about it was you were never really stuck. It just appeared to seem that way. If you look at the eight of swords at the camera, you'll see that the ropes are loose. And then the thing is you recognize that you could release yourself from this person as you did, right? You did. Yeah. Yep. And the King of Swords, again, some of you, it was a it was an honest and fair ending. You got you received justice. And the, you know, whoever was representing you with this in regards to this person, whether it was a family member or a friend or even somebody in the legal field, it it went in your favor. And you're like, things went as they should. I got my clarity that I was seeking, right? So show me advice. Okay, Ten of Cups is here. Show me advice. Okay, some of you absolutely have a child or children with this person. See how your cards are flipping around? Okay. All right, so the advice here is to be very mindful that even though some of you do have a child or children with this person or you felt at one time we were so happy together we were so committed so i thought we you're going to be reminded when you see this person of what you had or what you felt you, you had you know what you both had right because this person is going to come in very cocky very determined to get you back knight of swords the problem with the knight of swords is they're so in and out Okay, there's all these big changes, you know, one way, then another. They can't make up their mind. That's the energy that I'm getting in this reading. So the advice is to remember that this is somebody who plays games. Don't to hold back from this person. This is the full reverse. Like this is somebody who doesn't consider your feelings. So do not like make sure when this person tries to come in, rushing in and determined to get you back and you feel all turned on at the moment, hold back from this person. Okay, because they're going to remind you of what you two had. They're going to try to. Spirit is like, don't be foolish. Hold back from this person. This person is manipulative. This person is reckless still. Okay, justice reversed at the bottom of the deck and at the camera. This is still somebody that doesn't hold themselves accountable. Okay, you could be connecting with an Aquarius. 
all right? Yeah, the devil reverse at the camera as Palazana Tarot. Spirit is like, release yourself. This is a toxic situation that you need to detach from. Okay, and to remember that when this person comes in. All right, so before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the universe. All right, show me the messages, pull on Pisces in love. What does Pisces need to see? Again, guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, check out my website, alexandertarot.com. Okay. Check out my website and shoot me an email at bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. That is my only email address. All right. Prioritize self-healing right now. Put your needs above others for once. It is time to focus on you. Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. So give yourself grace, okay? And give yourself grace and understand that it doesn't happen. You're not going to feel strong all the time. Yes, you feel the sense of freedom and happiness restored because you let, you're letting go of this person. But this is how life works, especially those of you who have a child or children. You're going to be tested when you see this person. It's going to test your strength, your resistance, how far you've come in your healing. And Spirit is telling you to remember that. Yes, you're going to get moments of weakness. That's okay. Give yourself grace and move forward. When I say that, I don't mean sleep with this person. Just recognize in that moment how you're feeling and that realize and catch yourself saying, wow, I'm starting to feel a little open by this person and remember what happened and pull back, okay? One day when you least expect it, you are going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart and you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. Mm -hmm. So the universe is telling you that you have better coming and you're going to, once it does, when it, once it comes in, you're going to realize why all of this had to happen. If you find yourself constantly seeing reoccurring numbers or words, it is a sign that you are being supported, cared for, and divinely protected by the universe. Beautiful things are about to happen to you. So look for synchronicities. Some of you may see angels numbers like 1111 or 444, you know, any of them and repeated words. Those are signs. If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it is the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. And that is the universe saying that even in your moments of weaknesses, we are here with you. Okay? Love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening to you, for you. Say no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please other people. It is a real act of self-love. Because again, I feel like you overgave to this person emotionally and you overgave at the expense of your own emotional well-being, which is codependency, but you pulled back. And spirit is like, try to stay within that energy and remember who you are and what you deserve. Before I close out this reading, Pisces, I'm going to ask who else is coming towards you in love. Who else is coming towards Pisces in love? Okay. This situation is going to test you. That's what it is. And this, nothing can come in until this closes out, okay? Because I see with this Queen of Swords reverse, I feel like that's going to be your energy. And if this person is going to trigger you when they come back. There's going to be some sort of triggering situation. This is a collective, so it's different for everyone. But I definitely picked up on the one where somehow this X is around. Some of you, that may not be how it plays out. But something's going to happen What's going to make you feel so cold towards this person. And with the Six of Wands, we were as pals in a tarot, telling me it's going to be like failure for them. They're going Whatever they're going to try to do, it's going to fail miserably trying to get you back. Because in that moment, you're going to remember who they are and you're going to remember who you are in a good way so because with the four of swords reverse is telling me that you're going to be like this person is just draining it's draining two of cups reverse and you're like this is over over done done like you could stick a fork in me and it will come out clean all right so this is just where remember remembering how unstable this this connection was and why the breakup was necessary so again there's going to be some sort of test that's going to happen 
involved in this person. That's what's going to be coming towards you. And then after that clears out, there's a king of wands here. Look at that. Look how the, the, the universe works. Somebody who's stable. Someone like this is someone who's going to want to invest in you and know it from the jump. This is someone that's not going to play about you. This is a solid investment. This is someone who's a provider. They're reliable, very generous, very loving. This is someone that makes you feel secure, okay? So this King of Pentacles will come in. It could be um, a Leo or Virgo or any sign, or maybe this person has those placements, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, it could be any of those placements. Don't look for those particular signs, but I did pull in, that, pull in that energy, okay? But that's not going to happen until this person comes in. There's going to be some sort of triggering moment, and you're going to be like, this is a reminder, and this is exactly why we're not together now, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading, Pisces. Um, if it resonated, be sure to let me know. Um, I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. I spell Alexander Tarot. Um, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.